Hi guys, Brits Bows 2! BH Cosmetics sent me another one of their palettes. This is a BH Party Girl palette. Whoa, whoa. Just finished uh, doing a tutorial for that. It's probably going to be up. Um, link below <laughs> for it. But, um, you know that I love my Mac. I love my Mac. Love my Mac. So if you've seen my other reviews, I love the pigment in these. And for me, I find that dupes are really close, if not just, just almost exact to me, in my opinion. I did this color. Here, this one looks just like humid. It's so shiny. This one looks like swimming to me from MAC. Now, these are all MAC colors. I love the fact that they go from like intense to a little bit more on the smoky side here. Because of course, you party girl, you want bright colors, but then you want like the smoky eyes. And there is like these are all shiny, and then there's matte, matte, matte. Uh, matte color, matte color, matte color, matte color, matte color. They are all pretty, like, they're all generally where they need to be as far as the finish. You don't want, you know, you want a matte color to do this whole entire look. You could take this palette and do a whole entire look because there's enough shiny colors versus matte colors. And the matte colors are the colors that you want to stick in your crease, which I have done here. Um, also, what I was pretty impressed with is the red. You usually won't find red anywhere with um, makeup brands, and this is actually really, really red. I'm actually excited to use it. You can even use it um, as blush, because if you do it, go on there very, very lightly, like you can just brush it on. And I know that sometimes I like to get a little funky. <laughs> Now, you know I really like to do dupes. I have a color called Blue Blue Calm here from MAC. And they this is a pro color. And then this is going to be the BH colors. So I'm going to do a little swipey here. A little swipey here. And this is the turnout. This one is the MAC and then this one is the BH color. As you can see, this one's a little bit deeper, which I actually really like, but you can see that the payoff is just about as amazing as the other. MAC, you're gonna pay about $14 an eyeshadow, which I truly don't mind, but then this, you got all of these shadows here that are, you pay like half, you pay actually like that price versus one eyeshadow. Do not have Night, uh, night Divine, but something like this or like this is going to be pretty much the closest ones to it. What I really, really like is this one here. It's like a coral color. But me loving my oranges and Rule is one of my favorite colors. This would actually look gorgeous on the eyes as well as actually putting it on the cheeks. I am a big fan of using eyeshadows uh, on the cheeks, especially like the coral orange ones. And I find that you can't find a good coral orange blush. So getting the eyeshadow actually looks a whole lot better on the cheek. A color called Brash that MAC had come out with. And this is awesome. This one is just about as close as you'll get to it. You actually layering these two would get you something that would look like Brash. Now, if you missed out on the Call Me Bubbles palette, Brash came in it. So we have it like this one here. Brash. Now this is the um, BH color and I'm going to stick brash here. And you can see that they're just a little bit lighter. One is just a little bit lighter than the other. But dang, that's pretty, pretty close. And I'm telling you, the shine payoff or the pigment payoff is pretty awesome. You can't, I mean, I've tried a bunch of palettes and this is pretty darn close. So if you're beginning out with a palette or you want all those bright colors that you see in the drugstore or um, makeup counters, I definitely suggest this because it has, every, I mean that's 40 eyeshadows. 40 eyeshadows for a pretty cheap price. And if you guys wanna learn how to do this look, 
it's already up I will put the link below and for sure check out all the other links down there and and then you guys saw this on my Instagram I absolutely love this one it's the smoky eye palette and it has all of these good ones. It even has like something that's close to that red that's in the Party Girl palette. And these colors are just amazing. The colors are so much bigger versus the smaller ones. This one looks actually more professional. So for the makeup artists that are like wanting to build their kit, this is definitely something that I would add to it. As well as this Party Girl palette. Only because it has such a variety of eyeshadows and you never know. Um, what kind of colors you're going to need or your model's going to need or the photo shoot's going to call for or the runway's going to call for whatever the case may be but yeah definitely i'm going to be reviewing these soon so check those out coming soon thank you guys so much for watching